So this is question 10 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Maths exam. We're told the value of tan 2x, it's 3 quarters. Now, because x lies between 0 and pi upon 4, doubling x gets us up to what pi upon 2. We're dealing basically with angles in the first quadrant. So we can draw triangles, we don't need our quadrant diagram, everything's going to be positive values of cosine and tan that we use. So we have to find exact values of first of all cos 2x and then cos x. So an exact value, tan of an angle is 3 quarters. Let's get a diagram drawn. Remember tan is opposite over adjacent 3 over 4. So we should have something like this, where that's the opposite and that's the adjacent. So this will be 2x. And in that right angle triangle, the tan of 2x is certainly 3 quarters. This third side, it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. 3 squared plus 4 squared by 25 square rooted gives you 5. It's Pythagoras' theorem. So the cosine of 2x will be adjacent over hypotenuse, four-fifths. So that's part A. Part B, finding cos x. Well, there is a double angle formula. It says cos 2x is the same as 2 cos squared x, cos x times cos x, minus 1. So using that double angle formula, let's see what happens if we can get cos squared x on its own. Let's add 1 to both sides. If we add 1 to 4 fifths, we're adding 5 fifths to 4 fifths. That's 9 fifths. And let's divide both sides by 2, or take a half of both sides. A half of 9 fifths. Be 9 tenths. Multiply top, multiply bottom of these fractions. So 9 tenths. So exact value of cos x would be the square root of this. Um, positive since x lies between 0 and certainly pi up and 2. It's less than pi up and 4, but that's a first quadrant angle. So we're not allowed a negative value, which could creep in at this stage, because the negative square root of 9 tenths uh, would also square to give you 9 tenths. So that's fine. Square root of 9 on the top is 3. Square root of 10 on the bottom is that we could rationalize it if you want you're not really needed uh, you're not asked to do that uh, multiply top and bottom by root 10 so it's 3 tenths of whatever the square root of 10 is square root of 9 is 3 in a little bit so 3 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.9 just over 0 0.9 yeah you can estimate it without a calculator but that's the exact value we didn't, we're not into decimal approximations that's the exact value of cos x